Good morning, everyone. I am Jia Ying, and um, I'm a lecturer at the University of Sydney. Um, so as Chen Zhuo has introduced uh, me, so I'm from the School of Education and Social Work at University of Sydney, and I'm interested, my research area is in citizenship education. So today, the title of my um, presentation will be on rethinking um, civic education in the digital era using Singapore as a case and as a context to examine the potential of um, social media in helping students to learn about engagement, um, civic engagement in particular. So before I start, I thought I'll just um, spend a bit of time to give you the context of this project, just so that you can um, better appreciate you know, uh, what we're trying to find out in this project. So this presentation is based off a larger project, which is um, called the Mediation of Civic Learning by Digital Social Media. And we actually, at the end, we hope to be able to do a Singaporean, Australian um, comparison. So like I have said, you know, I'm from um, FAS at the University of Sydney, um, the School of Education and Social Work. So, uh, main part of my work um, deals with helping uh, pre-service teachers um, to have their competencies to, um, you know, go and work at schools. But we are also working with Wei Yi at NUS, who is um, working, looking, uh, who is, you know, you're working at the Department of uh, Communications and New Media. So because of our combination of expertise, um, before I start, I thought I will make the distinction between education and schooling. So like I said, you know, although part of my job is really to work with pre-service teachers to um, prepare them for working in school, um, this idea of schooling is pretty much confined within the learning space of schools. Whereas education is a much broader concept which can take place across many, many different learning spaces such as social media. So um, in this, in this um, presentation, I will be using the word education uh, more than schooling because I'm taking a broader view of education. Um, yeah, so to underpin you know, my discussion about education, I just like to perhaps um, acknowledge the fact here that education is never a neutral process. Um, in other words, it is always value laden and it always represents something that is valuable and we do things or we carry out education in a certain way to achieve certain purposes. So um, what, what does it, what, what is the implication for, for education, for civic engagement then? Um, I guess, you know, literature on civic learning and civic um, engagement has consistently talk about these two key concepts. The first one is the dynamism that is inherent in our society, which should ideally be reflected in education. And the second thing is that um, it is, you know, this idea of transformation is more or less um, sort of expected that um, education will um, transform uh, when, when, when societies transform. So I guess the key question here will be transform in what directions? Um, like I said, taking a broad view of education, we see that civic spaces extends beyond the school, um, you know, in, in various parts of the society. School is one civic learning space. Social media is one civic learning space. Um, there could be other, other um, learning spaces such as um, social interactions, such as um, through different uh, media outlets and such as you know, um, students or youth participation in different interest groups. So I guess when we talk about um, you know, education, we have to come back to the key question. When we say transform, when we say um, that education is going to be dynamic, um, we have to perhaps have a clear understanding of what the goals are. So in this case, you know, like when Ben said in the uh, earlier, like, you know, he, he, he views the importance of um, people having to give back to the society. There are also many ways of giving back to the society. So I guess um, it is that, that um, you know, the appreciation of the complexity of what education do 
that makes our research um, interesting. So here I would like to draw on Biesta's work um, that looks at the three key dimensions of the purpose of education. I won't go into, into detail, but just very briefly talk about this idea of the complexities of education. When we say volunteering, we can volunteer for many purposes. When we say giving back to the society, there are many ways of giving back to the society. So the first purpose, the first dimension of um, looking at education is this idea that education serves the purpose of, oops, serves the purpose of um, qualification, which is very, very utilitarian, um, you know, to, to get students to have the competencies to do something. It could be voting to, to be able to, um, you know, work in the world work in the society, you know, to contribute to the economy. Um, the second one is socialization. Um, we all have social norms. In all societies, there will be social norms. So it's about equipping students with the competencies to be able to participate in that um, established norms. Um, the third one is actually the most controversial because it requires um, the preparation of youth or young people um, to, to, um, to, to sort of question the status quo and also to move out of that comfort zone or to challenge what is existing. And that requires actually critical thought and um, the ability to examine the root causes of social issues. And you know, it could be even challenging the concept of what equity is about or what social justice is about. So, yeah, I guess subjectification is the one that is most controversial, most debated, uh, and most resisted. Yeah. So I guess in this study, um, you know, as we as I present the, the results shortly, um, we it is important to uh, make our conceptualization of civic education very clear because, like I said, there are different purposes when we say volunteering, when we say civic engagement. There are many many different types. So in this paper, we conceptualize civic education as having to shift from a focus of qualification and socialization to something that is more, um, that serves more of the purpose of subjectification, where students will be able to appreciate diversity, which is an in inevitable um, phenomenon in all societies now um, with globalization and technological advancement and that we see social media as a learning space for citizens uh, or for individuals to engage with knowledge and information, and then to help them with informed um, decision-making about how they would like to participate in the society. So I guess um, the key thing that I'd like to emphasize here is engagement. It's not just passive taking in of knowledge, but to engage and use that knowledge to consider um, their roles in the society. So I just um, guess I will, in this presentation, I'll, I aim to answer one key question. What are Singaporean youth perspectives of civic mindedness in the digital era within the context of Singapore, which is non-Western? What are some of the opportunities and what are some of the challenges? Um, so going directly to this question, um, oops, sorry, I, I okay, yeah, um, there is some consensus among the participants about what civic mindedness means. To them, civic mindedness means making societies better. And, and this often means abiding by the rules, abiding by the laws, and abiding by the social norms. And that is considered by them good behavior. So again, I would like to you know, bring back to what I said earlier. There are, different, there are different layers, there are nuances to what we understand by making societies better um, or this notion of giving back to the society. Um, so among the, among the participants, we see that there are actually diverse views as well about what civic mindedness means. For example, even though many of them talk about that, you know, civic mindedness means contributing to the community, to act in the community's interest. Um, there are many, many different interpretations of what it can mean. So for example, 
um, there is uh, there, there are people there are participants who view that contributing to the to the community aligns more with the subjectification purpose of education. This means um, it, this include actions like voicing their opinions, keeping political or institutions in general accountable, signing petitions to champion a cause, um, boycotting or cancelling. But at the same time, we've got other participants in this um, study who says that, you know, oh, such acts of subjectification can institute divide, can infringe on the rights of the minorities or, you know, such, such um, you know, such actions, you know, actions of subject, subjectification can digress from the social cause in question. So, like I said, you know, subjectification is probably the most controversial and most debated um, purpose of education. And um, our participants also have mixed feelings about being civic. Um, the positive um, feelings associated with um, civic mindedness is they're heartened to see that, you know, people are championing causes. They see it as something good. Um, and see it as something good in that it helps to move beyond the thinking about self to the society. Well, um, also, however, there are people who are um, actually, uh, who, who have, you know, who don't feel as positive about being civic mindedness. Uh, for example, they express, um, you know, feelings of skepticism, feelings of frustration, um, and they view the diversity of views that are present in the society as leading to pressure and confusion. Yeah, so these are the key findings that we found from um, the data that we've collected. Um, so going directly to the question now, so what are the opportunities presenting uh, to, so, uh, you know, that, that can present social media as a civic learning space? Now, firstly, we see that um, the participants do have a basic understanding of um, civic concepts of say agency, diversity and equity. So this can serve as a shared moral foundation to start supporting civic understanding. Um, secondly, um, I guess, you know, although it is not specifically mentioned as politics, um, I guess the participants also show awareness of politics where, you know, it's not talking about political parties, but this idea that, you know, in social issues, there will be competing interests. There may be, you know, one-sided views and they may, there, there may be a discrepancies between reality and the ideal and the pressure that they have as someone um, in a position to make decisions from the society. Um, yeah, and the, the and the third one would be you Are know we, there are opportunities. Is it fifty minutes? Uh, yeah. Um. No. No. I mean. Uh. Could you please wrap up the talk in five minutes? So. Okay. Five minutes. Sure. I will finish. This is the second last slide. Okay. Uh, five minutes. Okay. Great. So yeah, they, it, it presents the opportunity for the students to exercise for for you to exercise agency because they can see the relationship between participation and social agency. Yeah, and, and even though they may, they may, they may um, express negative feelings such as frustration or pressure or skepticism, it also shows that they, they are concerned about what's happening around them. So these are all good starting points for exercising civic agency. Yeah, so very quickly, the challenges is that, that um, the participants show very limited critical thought about civic participation. So I, 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 I draw connection back to the idea where, you know, they see um, civic mindedness as um, adhering to existing laws. So um, they see the idea of challenging social norms as the possibility of threatening social harmony, which is seen as, you know, superior to actually deliberation. Um, this, they, they, some, they, they, they um, have a quite a constrained view of citizenship where again, like I said, you know, um, social harmony, the idea of harmony is superior to say um, disagreement. And I guess it shows the tension between schooling and education because what we're doing in schools um, may contradict, you know, what is needed for transformative. I promise this is the last slide, okay? Uh, three minutes, okay. So, so going back to the question, um, what is the role 
that social media can, can play. Firstly, it is a space for engagement. Um, it can be, it can complement or supplement um, some of the um, political, sort of uh, conservative political climate and schooling practices in Singapore. So provide a space for more critical engagement. And that um, it also provide a space to consider um, the diversity of opinions um, in the society. Yeah, so I'm done. Thank you.